I'm Colin Coulson Thomas. I'm a professor at the University of Greenwich and the Director General for Europe and UK of the Institute of Directors of, of India. And I'm at the, um, the Global Wealth Management Conference of, of India, Inc. Um, the, the theme of the conference is very much the, the issues affecting wealthy Indians. And, um, and if we look at the, at the issues, you know, particularly for Indian family businesses, um, that there are challenges and there are, are opportunities. Um, in terms of the challenges, I, I think many Indian business families, you know, they, they, have, um, they have wealth to manage that they've accumulated from the past. And there also is an existing business and there are huge opportunities to transform existing businesses and create an income flow for the future. Um, but very often that requires setting up new governance arrangements, um, particularly arrangements for bringing in professional managers and opening that business up internationally while at the same time maintaining family control. I think another issue for a lot of um, family businesses in India is that as members of the family have gone overseas and many to the UK for education, they, they find that the, the younger generation, you know, Generation Z, as we call them, you know, may have very different values and priorities from their, from their parents and their grandparents. So it's a question of you know, how do you engage that younger generation and actually involve them um, in, the, in the managing of the, of the business you know, and the managing of the, of the family wealth going forward. Um, if you look at the contrast between um, China and India, um, we see both, both countries um, are huge in terms of their populations. You know, they both have a big challenge of, uh, of sharing wealth. Um, you know, the more it's shared in many ways, you know, the more there are opportunities for many of the, of the businesses. And also they have shared challenges in terms of sustainability. They have shared challenges in terms of, of openness and, and competing globally. And I think if we look at um, the Institute of Directors of India, you know, we are a, a network of 30,000 business leaders you know, across India and also Indian business leaders outside of India. And we have various um, conferences that take place within India and also in other parts of the world. And uh, our focus is very much on openness. You know, we believe in opening up the Indian marketplace. We think that the protection, you know, protecting vested interest is not necessarily in the long-term interest of all Indians. Um, we are very committed to um, sustainability and uh, you know, providing ways in which we can sustain high standards of living, open opportunities you know, for more people in India, and also opening India up to the global marketplace, which we think will actually strengthen the competitiveness of Indian enterprises. And I think we also have great faith in the, in the human capital of people within India. And uh, I think we, we, you know, we feel that they are perfectly capable of competing internationally with the best of organizations elsewhere. Um, so you know, we, we are very much interested in um, engaging with the, with the community that this conference today is, is seeking to serve. And, uh, and ways of representing the, the interests of Indian businesses, you know, particularly some of the, the family businesses, and helping them to devise solutions um, going forwards. Because to address all the issues, you know, it does require taking a strategic view, actually looking at it as a whole, and perhaps thinking about um, you know, what sort of vision um, you know, should we have as a, as a family you know, what contribution do, do we want to make, you know, not just for future generations of this family, um, but also what sort of contribution do we want to make as a, as a family for the future of mankind.